Hi, so this is just a quick video just to show some of the stuff I've had to do to my uh, Stepcraft UNCNC software to get cut the right size, just in case it helps you guys out. So um, I created a, um, a file, which is literally a square and a circle. They are meant to be 30 millimeters um, across, both of them are. Um, I've created a pen attachment all this is is a pen cartridge the spring on the end so there's actually um, a bit of give in there it's all a uh, 3d printed with SLS Got nice uh, thread in there but that's not really the point of this uh, video I've gone off track a little bit but anyway so I've loaded that file I've zeroed that there and I'm going to press uh, start. Not really sure why it's lifting up so high, but we'll go with it. stop that there um, so if we look at this now this is about 15 mil like if I get that accurate it's, it's pretty much bang on you'll have to believe me um, so that's not correct it should be 30 millimeters so if we go into configuration uh, X axes um, and then there's this setting here called steps per unit um, and what I think they've done is at some point in their design they've changed the pitch I mean I might be wrong this is just my theory I think they've changed the pitch of the screw so as it turns it's traveling less distance than it used to when they set up this software that's my theory um, so you click on calibrate um, <laughs> Sorry, uh, let me show you that again. Click calibrate, distance move, 10. Uh, feed rate, I don't really know if that matters so much. But I press OK. Basically, um, if we um, move it somewhere where you can actually see, uh, put it down. Um, so x axis, calibrate. 10 that okay when i press okay if you watch this it will move and then what we do is we measure that distance which was about five so we put five in here uh, press okay and it gives you a new steps per unit calculated value it's basically double what it was before um Press OK, OK, cancel, apply settings, save settings. Um, and then we're going to do the exact same thing for Y, uh, which I already know is 5 because I've, I've calibrated this before. I'm, I'm just doing it for uh, the sake of this video. Um, um, yeah. So apply settings, save settings, Z axis, calibrate. The Z was also out. It's a bit more difficult to uh, to measure than the X and the Y. But you'll just have to believe me. There we go. 